and just like that, it's the end of the school holidays. Took long enough. So hi everyone. Don't, mm -hmm. don't worry, just an update. I'm not gonna make this a regular thing. So the last three weeks, it has been school holiday. So obviously I decided to spend my time with the kids rather than worry about videos. So that's why I haven't been around basically. And I think you'll agree that's probably the right thing to do. Has it been a good holiday? Yes. In, in as much as you know it was, yes, it's been a good holiday. The light is terrible because it's one o'clock in the morning. The clock's going forward, so I'm just doing the one in the living room. And it's Easter Sunday tomorrow, so I'm sorting out some eggs. I'm going to sort of like pile them up. I'm not going to let the kids do a hunt this year. So they'll just get the eggs in the morning. I think I'll just have a nice day indoors because it's raining all day tomorrow, apparently. So, yeah, should be fun. Bit too much chocolate. Got too much, so I took the kids out for a walk. We are currently. Hi, Clara. Hi! 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 We're going to down one of my favourite alleyways to walk down. Bed. We're going to the playground, aren't we, guys? Yes, we is. What do you mean, guys? That is an amazing moustache. Hello, you as well. Look, Daddy. It's kind of crying a little bit. Look, Look at them. Daddy. It's about a week into half term now. I love my kids. I love them to the ends of the earth and back. But when can they go back to school? <laughs> this is, this is insane. Uh, and the weather's been so terrible. I haven't had a chance to do pretty much anything. I've been looking at places sort of like indoors, but everyone else has had the same idea, so almost everything is booked up constantly. It looks like we're having nice weather Sunday, so going to be going out um, here. I don't want to say it out loud just in case. Um, and then, as far as I know, my sister's coming up next weekend, and we're going to go again, which I think is going to be awesome. Um... I've got a pass. It's all that may as well go whilst the weather's nice. So pack a picnic, boom, lovely. Kids love it. Well it worked. We got them out of the house. We're just heading into Banham Zoo now on the windiest day of the year so far. The country is being rocked by 70 mile an hour wind, so fine. So we're now about two weeks in to the end of term, and uh, I'd say it's going well, sort of. Um, I, even though I washed all of the school clothes, I'm finding more. And so I've been washing them and then finding other school clothes. I, I didn't realise we had that many, and I don't know where they're coming from, honestly. Um, I've made myself a cold brew, because I've got a kit that can do that. Just. Can we deal with the fact that they've both gone completely mental? I mean, only one week to go and then they're back at school and I'm looking forward to it. 
Can't be that bad, can it? It's only a week left. Can't be that bad. So over half term, the weather was particularly bad on occasion when I wasn't getting sunburnt at the zoo. The fence fell down and got put back up and uh, it got really, 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 really windy on one of the days. So much so that a piece of wood, I'm guessing that blew off a fence, decided to fly towards the car. With uh, pretty disastrous results. So that's about 30 centimetres long, which puts me over the legal limit, so I'm having to call Autoclass to get that repaired. But no, today I will be topping up on all the shopping, and tomorrow I will be at home cleaning everything. Just... But you, you don't get a chance to really, do you? When the kids are at home, you don't really get a chance to clean. Yeah, tidy as best you can, which consists of just taking mess and putting it in a box for them to get out the next day. But ultimately, I haven't done any proper cleaning, so I'm going to have to spend a day catching up on all that. And doing nothing else. I'm actually considering switching off the internet. Speaking of which, I was getting an internet upgrade, I think, last time I spoke to you. That never happened. And the reason for that is I had to sign a document to say that I was allowing them to change some of the wiring going into the property. But here's the problem. It came from a random email address that wasn't at BT comms. Which means it went straight into my spam folder because it looked like a spam email. So I never got the PDF to sign. And because I never signed it, they didn't do any of the work, so they just cancelled it. So I've reapplied again. <laughs> And so like, oh yes, you can reapply for it again if you so want to. It's all like, but I don't mind. Higher internet speeds for the same price, I'm not too fussed about. So I've spent a, I spent a couple of quid extra and just got the next bracket up anyway. You know, bigger number better. But I am going to go and get a cup of coffee and I'm going to have a sit down and then I'm going to do some shopping and then we'll see how this week goes. But yeah, I'm going now. Bye.